Balotelli. Aguero! Hey, what's up guys? Jamie here and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. Today, as this is our title, we have got a match review. Now, I haven't actually bought you one on this channel before. So yeah, if you could leave a like, that would be absolutely insane. But let's get straight into the action. So guys, last night was the International Champions Cup Final. So, basically what it is, is a friendly tournament. And the two teams who were playing were Liverpool and Manchester United. So... If you know those two teams, you both know that they're very competitive Barclays Premier League sides and they just look for anything that it takes to go in with a little bit of an edge going into the start of the season. And you'd know, if you knew these two teams, you knew it wouldn't have been a friendly from the kickoff. And that's what it was, guys. The game definitely delivered. But there was some good build-up play at the start, but no real finish from both teams. An opportunity actually fell for United as the ball's put deep into Hernandez. This is quite early on, by the way. And yeah, um, he got something on it. He could have put it in. He should have, should I say. But Sacco fortunately cleared for Liverpool. And on the subject of Hernandez, guys, it actually seems like he could be leaving United. Hint, hint, Southampton. Please sign him out, Ronald Koeman. That would be an insane sign in. Around 15, 20 million. But yeah, back on the uh, subject of the match review. You move it into the 14th minute. Now, both teams had all right chances. Nothing really clear cut. And Sterling tried taking on Phil Jones. And he was actually taken down inside the box. Was it a penalty? Was it not? I think it was. The Liverpool players were pro uh, protesting. But Steven Gerrard took it. And he actually did uh, send David De Gea the wrong way. So, yeah. That was actually 1-0 Liverpool. And other than that, guys, up until half-time, it, it was quite stale. I'm not going to lie. And... Um, you know, it was quite shaky at the back. I'm not sure whether it's because of the 3-5-2 uh, formation that Louis van Gaal has been playing, whether they're new to it or not. But um, whenever they seem to be pressed, they just didn't seem com uh, 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 confident in the ball whatsoever. And they just didn't seem comfortable in possession. So I don't know, maybe Louis van Gaal needs uh, a couple new centre-backs. Maybe Matt Hummels, he's actually been heavily linked with United. That would be such a good sign-in. And yeah, apparently after, uh, well, within the next week or so, uh, apparently Louis van Gaal wants to get rid of around six players or so. So that would be actually quite massive in terms of United. They're going to be just like trying their hardest in training. And so, yeah, basically that's about it for half time. After half time, again, nothing much happened until the United goal with Hernandez running out wide and puts a ball into Rooney. And he volleys it with quite good accuracy, guys. I'm not going to lie. It was quite good. He didn't He didn't actually decide to power it. He decided to just hit it coolly across the goal to beat Mignolet. And yeah, that was quite a good goal. And then literally just right after that, United in possession again with some good build-up play. Matt finds the ball on the edge of the box and shoots. Probably not going in as Mignolet probably would have had it covered. But there was uh, quite a big deflection off Sacco um, sending the ball the completely other way. And it goes in off him. That made it 2-1 to United in the 57th minute. And then after that, there was a bit of confusion for everyone, I think. Because um, Wayne Rooney had actually thought he'd scored a uh, third goal. But no, Ashley Young actually put a ball in, which was nowhere near Rooney, to be fair. Or anyone else for that matter. And it soared over the goal and hit like just behind the back of the crossbar and came back out. So Rooney like cheekily tapped it in and the referee pointed to the halfway line and everyone thought it was a goal. Eventually, the actual goal was overturned because, well, it obviously wasn't a goal and the match officials uh, saw it eventually. But yeah, it was still quite funny to watch. After that, Liverpool had a couple of chances, but nothing really major. And it took up to the 88th minute to really wrap things up for United. And it's quite a well-worked goal, I'm not going to lie. You've got Ashley Young running down the wing again, crossing the ball in and finding uh, f finding Lindegaard. No, not Lindegaard, that's the keeper. Lingard, who's actually an academy graduate, by the way. And he actually does very, very well to find the far corner. And that really finished things up. So in the end, United did actually win the game 3-1. And they have taken home the International Champions Cup. There's not really much more to say, guys. As for United, like I said, I do really think they need a good centre-back because they just didn't really seem comfortable. 
uh, with possession and at the back with Phil Jones and uh, Smalling and stuff like that. So I'm not really sure what they're going to do that on that forefront. But as for Liverpool, I'm not really sure. It's obvious they are going to come uh, very... Well, they're not even going to come close to replacing Suarez. But I still think they'll do okay this season. You know, top four, maybe fifth. I'm not really sure. It will be very, very good to see the Merseyside derby this year. I can't wait for that. But yeah, guys, that is about it for today's match review. That was quite good considering that was my first one. I hope you agreed with that. So if you do agree with it and you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate a like. Also, comment down below what you'd uh, make me do better to these match reviews, what uh, things you want me to add more and stuff like that. And yeah, please subscribe to this channel. I'm really trying to get this one going again and daily upload from now on. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys on the next video. See you later.